Aside from the line, the most basic geometric shape is a circle. If you take an equation like x squared plus y squared equals 25, uh, in the solution set, anything with a 5 and a 0, that includes negative 5. Here are your four most basic points. If you plot those points, they seem to make some kind of diamond shape if you were to, to connect them. Um, but other points are points that involve threes and fours, like three, four, and, and four, three. Oops. And not only that, but any sort of combination where it's got negatives involved, negative four, negative three, negative three, negative four, and where one of them is positive and the other one's negative. If you plot just those points, what you'll find is that they don't make a diamond shape, but they make a circle. And part of the reason it makes a circle is because of how much this thing looks like the Pythagorean theorem. If I take some random point and I make a right triangle here, the point's coordinates are x comma y and the radius of the circle is 5. So the relationship between x and y is that x squared plus y squared has to equal 25. So that's why it's the equation of a circle. Now here's an equation that kind of looks like that other equation, x minus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals 25. Uh, this has a solution set also, but unlike the last one, 5, 0 is actually not in the solution set, or this 5, 0 does not make it true. But um, the fact that 5, 0 makes it true means that there is a point I can tell is on, is on the circle, and that would be the numbers that would make the x minus 2 equal to 5 and the y minus 4 equal to 0. In other words, the point 7 comma 4 is going to be on this circle because if you plug 7 in to here, you get 7 minus 2, which is 5, and you plug 4 into there. So I'll just plot the point 7, 1, 2. Um, negative 5, 0 is not. Here's a little chart of not. But negative 3, 4 is. Because negative 3 plugged into the equation would make negative 3 minus 2, which would be negative 5. So negative 3, 4. And I can do the same thing with 0, 5, 0, negative 5. 0, 5 is not. However, 2 comma 9 is, because 2 would make x minus 2, 0, and 9 for y would make y, y minus 4, 5. And as far as 0, negative 5 goes, that's not. But 2, negative 1 is. And likewise, every point on the circle Every point ends up getting moved, if you notice. Um, instead of being at 5, 0, which was over here, that point ends up over here. Well, the relationship between those two points is that 7, 4 is 2 to the right and 4 up from the point 5, 0. And that's going to be true for every point. So every point is 2 to the right and 4 up. Now, a point that was not in the solution set of the original one was 0, 0. That was, didn't make x squared minus y, x squared plus y squared equals 25 was not true for 0, 0. But 0, 0 was the center of the original circle. So if all the points move 2 to the right and 4 up, then the center should also move 2 to the right and 4 up. So the new center 
is 2 comma 4. Notice how those are the opposites of these two numbers. So what we say about the circle if the center of the circle is at HK, which I'll just put in sort of a random spot, then the equation of the circle and the radius is R, then the equation of the circle is X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared equals R squared. So this is R and this point is H comma K. So to graph x minus 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared, 3 comma 4 would be the center, and the radius would be 6. And then I just go 6. I like to go 6 up, 6 left, 6 right, 6 down, and make the circle. Here's a circle with center 5, negative 2. So h is 5, and k is actually, sorry, h is negative 5. and k equals sorry about that, got, got confused h is 5 and k is negative 2, those are the coordinates of the center so the equation of this circle is x minus 5 squared plus, now it's y minus negative, so I'll write y plus 2 squared and the radius of this uh, circle seems to be 4 just because we can count it over, so 16, and that's the equation of the circle Sometimes the equation is in this form, um, so it doesn't look like the whole x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. But with a little bit of moving stuff around, you can use a technique called completing the square. First I'll add the 52 to both sides. Then I'll complete the square by, in this case, adding, you take half the coefficient, which is negative 2, you square it, you get 4. You take half of 10 and square it, you get 25. But you have to add those to the other side also. That's turned these each into perfect square trinomials, which can be factored. And 52 plus 4 is 56, plus 25 is 81. If you want to write that as 9 squared, you can. And this would be, the graph would be a circle with center uh, 2 comma negative 5 is the center and radius equals 9. When you have a circle and a line, it's possible that that line intersects the circle at 2 points. It's possible that that line intersects the circle at 0 points. And it's possible the line intersects the circle at exactly 1 point. And we can find which situation that was by using systems of equations. For instance, let's say the line is y equals one thirds x plus five thirds and the circle is x squared plus y squared equals 25. So our circle centered at zero, zero has radius of five. Uh, this one third x plus five thirds, well it seems like it crosses it twice, but in order to find where it crosses, we can substitute in place of the y here, one third x plus five thirds squared. And this takes, you got to be careful as you do this when you expand out the one third uh, x plus five thirds squared. You end up with uh, one third times five thirds is five ninths. That's 10 over 9x plus 25 over 9. 1x squared plus 1 ninth x squared is 10 over 9. Multiply everything through by 9. And 
then I'll move everything over to one side for an outer room, but I'll get 10x squared plus 10x minus 200 equals 0. Divide everything through by 10. That works out conveniently. x squared plus x minus 20 equals 0. That factors to x plus 5, x minus 1. So the intersection points are going to be at x equals negative 5 or x equals positive 1. If I substitute into either of these equations, we'll find that minus 5, 0 is going to be one of the points, and the other one is going to be 1, If I plug this 1 into this top equation, I get 1 third plus 5 thirds, so 1 comma 2. Something doesn't seem right about that, only because 1 comma 2 is not a point on, um, on this circle. Ah, that's because it wasn't 1, it was 4, this was a minus 4 here. And this is actually 4, and this is not 2, but if I plug 4 in, I get 4 thirds plus 5 thirds, 4 comma 3, and 4 comma 3 is a point on the circle, and that's the answer for that question. Final thing I want to mention is that there's a property from geometry. It's actually a pretty hard property to prove, but the property says that the tangent line is always perpendicular to the radius at the point of tangency. So if the slope of the radius is one-third, then the slope of the tangent line will be negative three. That will come in handy for one of the questions that we're going to do.